Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to explain some of the important topics in the soil mechanics. First of all, let's consider that this is any soil sample. And this is the phase diagram for the soil mass. This whole box shows the soil. Let's consider this is soil and this whole length which is represented by V, it shows that this is the total volume of the soil mass. V is shows the volume of the solid present in the soil mass. Vw shows the volume of the water present in the soil mass and Va shows the volume of the air present in the soil mass. And Vv which is the volume of the voids is the combination of volume of air and volume of water. So volume of voids is equal to the volume of air and volume of water. This is known as the volume of the voids. So this is the phase diagram of any soil mass. Now, first of all, I want to discuss about the void ratio. So what is void ratio? It is represented by E by small e and it is the ratio of the two volume. It is the ratio of the volume of the voids to the volume of the solid. VV shows the volume of the voids and VS shows the volume of the solids. So here I will write again V is the volume of the voids and VS shows the volume of the solid. That how much voids are present how much voids are present over the volume of the solid mass. So this ratio shows the void ratio of a soil sample and it is it should always be greater than the zero because it is not possible that any soil mass has zero void ratio. It will always have some water or the air content inside the soil mass. Now the second is the porosity which is mostly related to the void ratio. Porosity is usually represented by small n and it is also the ratio of the two volumes but here this is the ratio of the volume of the voids to the total volume of the soil mass. So V is the volume of the voids VV is the volume of the voids while V is the total volume of the soil total volume of the soil and porosity is always expressed in percentage that's why it has been multiplied with the hundred percent so this was the porosity where it is the ratio of the how much the volume of the voids are present over the total volume of the soil mass so it shows the porosity and it should be kept in mind that there is a relation between the porosity and the void ratio. That it is E is equal to the N over 1 minus N. We can use this equation to find out the void ratio if we know the porosity. Or if we know the void ratio, so we can easily find out the porosity by using this equation. So they are related, they are relatable to one another. Now the third topic I want to explain is the water content. Water content is also called is the moisture content and is usually represented by small w. The water content is represented by w and is equal to the ratio of the weight of the water divided by the weight of the soil solids. In this case it is the ratio of the weights not the volume. So and it should always be multiplied with the 100% because the water content or the moisture content is always in percentage. So if I, let's suppose I want to take an example to explain the water content. Let's suppose this is any soil mass and this soil mass, let's suppose has the total weight, this W is, is the, W is the weight of the soil solid of soil solid and WW 
is the weight of water. Now let's suppose this is the soil mass and the weight of the soil solid here of the soil solid is let's suppose WS is 700 gram. This is the weight of the soil solid and the weight of the water present in this soil sample let's suppose W W is equal to the 100 gram. Only 100 gram of water is present in this soil sample. So the water content will be equal to the WW which is 100 gram divided by the WS which is the weight of the soil solid was 700 multiplied with the 100 it comes out to be 14.28 percent. So the water content present in this soil sample is the 14.28 or we can see the moisture content for this soil sample is 14.28. Now the fourth one is the degree of saturation. It is also an important topic in the soil mechanics. Degree of saturation is represented usually by the capital S. It is by, represented by capital S and it is the ratio of volume of the water dividing by the volume of the whites. And it is also represented in percentage. That's why it's multiplied with the 100%. So VW is the volume of the water. That how much volume of water present and VV is the volume of the whites. And whites include both the air and water. So this ratio shows the degree of saturation. It should be kept in mind the degree of saturation is 0% for dry soil because it don't have any water. So if the water volume is 0, so degree of saturation will be equal to 0. And water and degree of saturation is 100% for fully saturated soil. Fully saturated soil. Hope you guys understand the most important topics for the soil mechanics. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.